BTB, Beyond the Breakers. You know, what's funny is that's a term I hear the guys in Texas use going offshore fishing the rigs. Seems like everybody else just calls it uh, offshore kayak fishing. Well, Saturday, June 8th, 2019, you can see I had a successful trip. Two kings and one Spanish mackerel. Uh, this is what it sounds like when those big kingfish grab a hold of your line and take off running. Well, hang on a second. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Welcome to Mustang Island. So I'm basically halfway between Corpus Christi and Port Aransas, Texas. Here it goes. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. Somebody needs to be playing the uh, theme song to Hawaii Five O. Is it just my imagination or did those waves just get bigger? Okay, the first order of business is to get in the kayak without flipping over and then get the kayak moving forward and keep the nose of the kayak into the waves so you don't get sideways and get flipped over in the, in the surf. So this is purely accidental, but you can actually see the fish finder and see the depth uh, in the fish finder. So I'm trying to make it a point not to damage the mirage drive because it, it gets very shallow. There's a series of guts and sandbars as you go out through the surf here. And I don't want to bottom out the mirage drive and damage something there. Well, the kayak does pretty good with those single waves, but when the waves start to double up like this one, that's when you can get a little more water in the kayak. No biggie. It can definitely take care of it, but uh, makes for a little wetter ride. So what I'm trying to do here is time this so I don't hit the waves when they're peaking. Uh, I want to catch them after they've broke or before they've had time to build up into a larger wave. Uh, that makes it easier to get through the surf. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now. The next step is to do a little fishing. I've got a ribbon fish already rigged on my spinning rod and this area just past the surf is a great place to catch some Spanish mackerel so I want to hurry up and get a ribbon fish in the water and see if I can start catching some Spanish mackerel. And almost immediately as soon as that uh, ribbon fish gets into the water I've got a fish on, and I sure am hoping that it's a Spanish. Uh, one of my favorite fish to eat is Spanish mackerel. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, that's not a Spanish, that's a gap top. Well, I gotta get that nasty fish off and throw him back in so we can continue on. Okay, that action camera that I have looking over my shoulder has a battery in it that lasts for about an hour and a half. So the goal is, and I have extra battery, so my goal is to uh, try and remember to change out the battery every hour and a half or so, and then that way I can actually uh, catch the action when I'm uh, actually catching fish. That noise you hear is the platforms. I actually hit five different platforms today, but each of them has a horn, and I guess that's to let boaters know that 
the platform is there if it gets foggy and they can't see it. I went about four or five miles offshore the whole time I was trolling maybe one or two miles an hour and I had ribbon fish and a, and a number of different lures and uh, hopefully hoping that something would grab a hold and uh, take off. I did spend a few minutes at a couple of the structures dropping some cut bait to the bottom but that was actually pretty boring and no action there so I went back to trolling. Well, that action camera is actually inside of a waterproof case, so that real screaming is actually much louder in real life. This was my first big run of the day, and actually the only one that I caught with the overhead camera. Unfortunately, he broke off. There's a shark right underneath me. I don't know what I got, but I'll bet you it's another shark, so I'm gonna leave the camera running. Unfortunately, I just have to hold it. Of course you can. Oh yeah. I see several sharks underneath me. Come on, baby. I don't know if you can see the line, but it's it's near the surface. I see something. I hope he doesn't turn. Oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's a kingfish. Here, you probably want to see it. There he is. Wow, well, I'm not sure how good the hook is, so I need to set this down and tag this guy. Well, sorry about that. Here we go. Bad Mama Jam, a kingfish right there. Let's figure out how to get him unhooked. He went right there for me. Look at there. Hooks. Hooks are out of the mouth and back in the water. We got a fish. Now what? Oh yeah, there were sharks in the water. Maybe I should keep my feet out. Wait right here again. Okay, well, that other camera died, I'm sure. I actually went through two batteries on that one. But uh, I wanted to make sure that you had a view of what it actually looks like. I'm going to turn the, turn the camera around. This, this rig, making noise, whatever it is, this is the close one at my entrances. I just got a nice kingfish from uh, this area right here. The other, the other kingfish I got, the first kingfish I got was, if you look way out there, there's a, uh, another, a much larger, and then off to the left, you can see a couple of small ones. I was actually between those two when I caught my first fish. Now, I don't know if I got that that on video or not. It was probably right at about the time that that camera was going to die, so I may have missed it. Watch the pelicans while we're at it. 
but uh, here's the view that's the ocean and uh, I'm about done for the day I've got two kingfish in the bag um, I'm trying to get that that third one so I'm gonna kind of make another sweep of this area but then uh, after that it's it's head home I did manage to catch one more fish on the way back in that small Spanish mackerel that was in the middle the first kingfish I caught was the one on the right he was just over 30 inches and then the one the big one on the left I did capture a little bit of video of and that guy was a little over 40 inches my son Sean was thrilled with the catch he's really looking forward to the day that he can go out and do some BTB fishing with dad I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you back soon if you like hunting and fishing, check out my other videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.